Right guys, it's our final event session today in the Stoughton Strength Centre. We fly out, this is Friday, so we fly out a week yesterday to California. So we've got heavy log, some front hold, some fingals, the usual bits and pieces. Hope you enjoy the video, it's our last one for a little while. Well, last one of training I think. So, enjoy. Right guys, that's the warm-ups finiated on the log. We've now got, I think, 210 in the log. That'll be our heavy single today. All going well. So yeah, let's get 210. Fingers crossed. Come on. Yeah. Last one. <coughs> Ten. My, I've only ever hit that twice in my life, so I'm quite happy to hit it. Um, twice being one today as well. I hit it once previously, I hit it once today, so logs a funny one, you know, because we've been doing a lot of rep work. Uh, for me, I think with Matt's log, you need to go a bit heavier, but in my eyes, looking at the final, if people get to the final, then I think 215 uh, is going to be the winning log. Don't see anyone going heavy. I don't see why anyone would go heavy as well when they've got a lot of events. You know, going for experience like last year, look at what happened last year in the log, you know. Um, I was hardly hitting it good in training and then came to the day. <laughs> Majestically, I won. I think with that kind of stuff as well, you have to take your time because um, even for Matt's log, as Matt's, you know, people can rush the early stages of the competition and those kind of events and mark it up. But yeah, um, I was happy with log. That's the last log session now to world, so I get to kind of chill out and hopefully I get to do log again if I get past my group. So. Still not as comfortable as I should have been, but it is what it is. It's been a heavy few weeks training session, so hitting a 210. We can replicate that out in Worlds, uh, that should be good points, I think. And yeah, that's all we're, I'm kind of going for. Uh, you know, Tom and I were there to kind of finish, well, to win, basically, that's it. So whatever it takes to win, we're going to do. If in the final 2.15 was enough to win, I'd call it that. I'm not going to go for the world record. Maybe do that another time. Maybe. Are you happy with the group stages that you have as well? Yeah, uh, I'm buzzing to have Novakov in my group, he's the best in the world. To be the best, you got to beat the best. So I knew I was going to get deadlift. I haven't had squats for a while, so I would have liked to have. Usually, whatever you'd like to have, you don't get. So um, is what it is. Um, but yeah, uh, events are pretty good. Loading's good for me. Overhead medley's good for me. Front hold, be decent enough. Fingers finger, um, so that should be okay. Um, we've got that today. Yeah, so I'm, I'm happy enough. It's uh, all a good bunch of guys. Kevin, uh, Bobby, Gav and Alexi, um, all really nice guys, all good guys, so um, yeah, I'm excited, really excited to get out there and just put this, all this kind of hard work, hard work that we've been going through in, in front of everyone, in front of the world to see. So guys, today we are using the big bag for hammer, um, usually we use the EZ bar and all that at the top, so it's kind of all the weights at the top of it, but this is kind of the same and also it basically the same as a pickaxe, but obviously got a hammer head on it. So we're just going to do the same again with it. I think it's like 30k. So instead of loading up the EZ bar, just use a 30k hammer and hold it. I think it's 30k. Sometimes I bop with this. You know, you got a weird thing in your mouth. Oh! Jesus, what's happening? You just mm. What happened? Don't try this at home. I don't know. Two, one, yep. I just spewed my guts out and held a axe for 43 seconds. Oh. 49. Oh. 
really horrible events. It just, it's just a pump, that's all it is. It just gets to you and you just got to dig in 50, 60, 70 seconds, wherever you can hold it for. And then it's done. So you're not too taxed from it, but it's still not nice. So hopefully worlds won't ever put it in again. We're at the warehouse guys. We're starting with keg toss. Then we're gonna do some other things. So stay tuned for our last session of the year. So it has to land upright the keg. Doesn't matter about the height, 50 quid. Guys, do you think you can do it? Remember who won the keg toss last year? You'll see a repeat of it in the final, bro. Are you going for the world record this year? Tim? What's world records? We want titles, bro. We want titles. Two minutes, bro. That was just the tough answer. Do it with squint arms. Jeez. Made that keg map. Watch. Hey guys, that's the keg toss for height done. A couple of world records here, you're welcome. We're gonna move on to some loading now. Since we found out the events, I got deadlifts. Well yesterday, I squatted 320. Well, the last video you'll see, I squatted 320 for 10, thinking I'd get squatting, but uh, I've had squatting the last two years in a row, so I thought, oh, may as well get these pins up to standard, baby. But that's not happened, so that fatigued me. So yeah, log and front hold. It's good feeling fatigue, because Usually, like the last, like I said, last two years in a qualifier, I've had really, really bad leg pumps, and it's all here. I've been feeling it because a lot of leg kind of dominant things I've been getting. So the next event for me is frame into sandbag, well into loading. So I'm going to reserve a wee bit. You know, I've got a wee bit of a knee niggle from squatting yesterday, so I don't want to do anything stupid. I don't know. Between 260 and 300, see how I feel off this frame, just nice and steady to the end of the warehouse, and then probably two sandbags, one keg, and a tire or something like that. Just set it nice and light, but also just to get myself uh, moving. Yeah, loading was good. Did 125 sandbar, 150 keg and tire. I went back to it, felt a bit faster, nice getting a few of the 150 sandbar as well. You, know, you won't get sandbags heavier than that anyway, so it was nice just to get the feet moving again. Did it in like 39, 40 seconds, so it's all good. Loading over this as well, so in case there's a platform, we're not used to just throwing it, we're used to putting it up onto something. Obviously, there'd be a shelf here, so yeah, I feel good enough. Um, Back's nice and pumped, so on to the next one. It's a bit more event specific now, obviously we found out um, our heats, the official heats in the official groups uh, last night, so I've got Fingles, Tom doesn't, he's got, I think it's a train pull, so it's basically a track pull but with a train, so it's pretty much the same thing. So I'm going to do some work in the Fingles, this will be my last session with Fingles. I've taken it off the pallet so it's on the deck and then load it up with some sandbags to stop it from moving. We'll see how that goes. I think Tom's getting the loading ready, so we'll do that after. Um, then do some yoke, and 
finish up in stones I think and then that's it job done it's my anniversary today I'm gonna go it's actually my wooden anniversary five years today so hopefully I'll be able to give Cushy a wooden present later on right guys so we're just about to do fingles I've just got my magic gloves on the cutters gloves thank you gentlemen for making the suggestion I'm just going to test the grip out on the back of the pickup see if I can move the car Jesus not even oh my god three two one go Feeling confident with your fingers? Yeah, it felt really good today actually. That was the best. The best it's felt uh, since we started them. So knowing that it's in our group makes me attack it a little bit more. So yeah, it felt good. I'm happy enough. Do you think Do you think Dan's a type of keep going? Because he kept stopping last time, if you remember. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think with that, it's, uh, it was more the taking off the pallet. Because the closer you got to the, the more vertical it was, the more it wobbled in the pallet. So um, now it's, firmly on the ground, I feel confident going right up to it, so it, it kept changing every time it landed, it kept going like that, changing, but yeah, definitely you have to keep pushing right through, like Dan said, it's, yeah, you watch all the good kind of guys at Fingles, they're pushing it all the way down to the end, good last Fingles event for me, so I'm happy enough. So guys, we're on to frame and yoke, doing it a bit different today, we're going to do frame separately, then yoke separately, just because we don't have enough weights here, but yeah, still going to be kind of the same as it will be in worlds, just not one after each other. How heavy is the frame going to be? Uh, we're going to load it up heavy because we're doing one run. Um, so we're going to just really get... Uh, well, this is going to be like our last, basically, grip exercise. So we're going to really just get our legs moving and feel the, feel the weight in our hands. That's what I think that's really important. Uh, especially at this time of prep, just one 10 meter run, you know, 11 meter run, maybe 350, 340, 350. And then we'll load up the yoke again to 400 plus and get our legs moving. We loaded it up to 340 kilograms. Nice heavy frame, frame sorry, get her get all the weight in her hands and really feel that torture. So Luke's gonna go first to his set. I'm gonna go back, then frame's done. Three, two, one, go. Hope you're enjoying the video. Also remember to buy some of our new merch. New shorts and a t-shirt are out, so please keep buying. Worked up to a heavier frame today, felt good. We're now going on to the, the big yoke. Um, gonna do a heavier run. Or maybe not heavy, heavy, but like 400, 440. Um, and go for that, see how it goes. Off sweat. Look at that, that's a roller. The extremes you go to to dry yourself. I've patented this, this is copyrighted. This is the, the Luke's sweat dryer machine. Towel, plate, roll. Yes! Bit of a confidence booster. I just wanted to test the tacky 
Um, I've been having issues with my tacky the last 20 weeks, it seems. Just with the warmer weather, uh, the kind of hot weather stuff's starting to work really good. So and the pickup felt really good in the 200, so just wanted to kind of pick it up and pop my hips a wee bit. So that was good. Going max out in stones is um, a little bit dangerous at the moment because we're so close to competing. I'll get switched on for stones when, we, when we're out there. That'll be all good. Yeah, happy. Happy it's done. Stone's done. Yeah, 200 for eight. I'm happy. Last week I did five on motions, but uh, I felt a bit more fatigued, so I lapped them after two. They were still fairly easy at the eight fret, you know. Like I used my hips and got a lot of power in them, so 10, 11 I could have done, but I ain't going full, full. You know, I ain't bursting myself fully, but I'm happy, you know. Great end, uh, great training session, and I'm ready. Um, I believe the. If I have to do it, no one will beat me at stones and it's just a comfort thing as well that I've got but I ain't taking it easy in any thing I'm doing at Worlds this year I'm going there with a different attitude, different mindset Physically I'm stronger as well but mentally is where a lot of people will see and you know, I think that's where the most improvements are coming from because you know, I feel just really relaxed just now, really good You know, Obviously training is hard because we're so fatigued I mean, you know, this is the final. You get a day's rest between each one as well, but we're doing Monday to Friday throughout, so it's, you know, it's a good way to get the body ready for it. And we're doing like six, seven events in one day, so to think about having two events rest, two events rest, two events, it's so much better for me and Luke. We just get to split the days up and it's going to be getting easier, and we always perform good at Worlds, so yeah, I'm happy. 248 guys, try and beat me. Let's go. That is prep for World's Strongest Man. 2021 complete. We started in the warehouse, we're finishing in the warehouse. That's it. Done. Thank you, Tom, for being an awesome training partner. Thank you, Luke, for being an awesome training partner. How was it today? Good session? Yeah, good. Good. How was your session, week, man? Thanks, Tom, for asking. It was good. I was going to go home at one point because I was tired. But remember, guys. Sort the attitude, boys. Remember, guys, what you do today can influence the rest of your life. Remember that. That's deep, but it's true. Anyway. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And please keep ringing that little bell. Ting-a-ling-a-ling. Ling-ling-ling. Ting-a-ling-a-ling.